All right, I want to thank Robert Silva for sharing this with me this night, and also, um, uh, let's see, hard to the core. Now, um, let me see if I can read this here. This is in lieu of the 706 template. Um, remember, Gene Keating had reported about this form. Um, this is an excerpt from Gene Keating's research. Um, it is really powerful. In 1951, they passed a law under this title, 26, Section 2038. Section 2514 is called the Power of Appointment Act of 1951. The donor has total power. Every one of these mortgages loans, mortgage loan transactions is a donor-donee relationship, which means it is a class five gift and estate tax. Under the 600209 decoding manual, and if you go to the IRS website and download it, it's called the IRS Processing Manual of 2010. If you go there and read it, it tells you that all the IRS processing manual of 2010, wait, if you go there, 1096, 1098s, 1040s, and 1099s, and all W-2s, um, all the W-2s, all the W-4s are classified gift and estate tax. They have nothing to do with income tax, and everybody is filing the 1040s. Um, you report the gift and estate taxes on a 1040 form. You report the income on 1040 forms, which is number one. All class five and estate taxes are done on the 706 form and the 709 form. The 706 form is the generation skipping tax transfer tax. You should read the instruction booklet on the 706. Um, and then you have under the 709 form, which is a gift tax form. See, there are two types of taxes, the generation skipping tax, um, transfer tax, which is a 706, and the gift tax, which is what the 709 is for. And if you read publication 950, you have 3.5 million unified tax credit. That means if you know nothing about accounting corporations, use Corporations use a 3.5 million as money. Corporations use tax as credit as money. They actually would give corporate tax credits to banks, and banks will loan money on tax credits. You have a 3.5 million unified tax credit under publication 950 on all estate taxes. You have 1 million unified tax credit or exclusion on the gift side, and you bill that. If you read the 709 form, the bill exclusion, you have 348000 It's built into the form. It is actually in the form. Now, I know that none of you wage earners own $340,000. Um, anyways, but I want to thank Robert Silver for that. And also, um, Heart to the Core shared a bunch of information. I don't really understand it, but um, I found it very interesting. Now, um, you guys know I've shared with you the um, IRS uh, form 13909. Um, we have the template here for the tax exempt organization complaint. So this is the one where I sent you guys a list of all the fraudsters. So these were agents um, purporting a fraud debt um, to us here. And we didn't know that they had to have a tax exemption letter from the Secretary of State in Puerto Rico. Got that? They have to have a tax exemption letter from the Secretary of State in Puerto Rico. Now, Free Inhabitant, I think it was, um, that reported this fact to all of us, right? You guys can go to him. Um, he also helps people um, remedy a lot of situations as well, too. Now, this particular um, form, what I did, because I had a long list of them, right? Because they didn't just come one by, like, they came one by one. But I had to go back in my mind's eye and see now that all these agents purporting a uh, debt, 
in fact, are to have a tax exemption letter from the Secretary of State in Puerto Rico. Anyway, so you list all the names, right? And then you guys can email us here for a copy of this to see exactly what's on it. And then, um, yeah, you send this in along with your um, uh, the GSA um, bond forms, the performance bond, the bid bond, the payment bond, the SF GSA 30, 14, 14, 14, 16, and 14, 18. Um, send it into the IRS Technical Support Division. Um, care of the, I think it's the um, Treasury UCC um, Department, something like that. Um, yeah. Now, something else I wanted to briefly touch on. Copper Aborigines was explaining that um, what we're experiencing is our Okay, let me see if I can explain this properly. You guys can read in the comment section how he's explained it in detail. Okay, we created these offsprings, right? These half-breeds, apparently, that are in Iraq and Iran and these places, right? These ones that we created, however, were instrumental in doing identity theft. They were the ones doing the Spanish Inquisition, which is why I think a lot of what's happening with the immigration and stuff Donald Trump keeping a lot of these entities out is because they were the ones that caused a lot of confusion for us with the Spanish Inquisition and stuff, right? So Copper Aborigines has explained that, and you guys can think back. A lot of us have some of these sellouts in our own families, eh? Because I can think of a couple well that I know. These little um, offsprings that we have in our uh, tribe that have caused some of the, the family members in our tribe some significant amount of grief. And I remember the elders and some of the people explaining some stuff they were going, these were their own offsprings, eh? Some of the stuff they were experiencing, some of the stuff that we got to witness by their own offspring. Okay, so what Copper Aboriginal is explaining makes a lot of sense. And so when you see Donald Trump and them keeping a lot of them out, of the Americas, it's because of that history. They had made a point of rewriting and whitewashing our historical artifacts, putting their faces on it, and then claiming that they were the original this, that, and the other, and then making the ancestors look like idiots, right? That's what's going on. Anyways, so you guys can write us here at themullings at gmail.com, T-H-E-M-U-L-L-I-N-G-S at gmail.com. Some of you who have helped us, we have shared some of our research with you to make it easier too so you guys can get started, right? And then those of you who are having situations, dear God in heaven, um, do the SFGSA template, the performance bond, the bid bond, the payment bond, and then go back and do the 1099 OID, which is a two million for those of you who are incarcerated unlawfully. And I think it's three thousand a day. I'd reported that some moons ago in the other videos, eh? And then, um, yeah, get your remedies that way, and then send off the GSA template bonds to the GSA office, the office of the Inspector General. So I chose four, and I also chose one of them that were for people with disabilities. And then you guys send it to the IRS Criminal Investigations Division and the IRS Technical Support Division that we send to you. And any judges, any agent doing business as judge, clerk, prosecutor, attorney, uh, jail heads, whatever, send it to them. And anyone else, Child Protective Services, those of you who had your children kidnapped, and send it to the Child Protective Service Manager. And then you do the copyright on the name and then go back and do your nationality um, status correction for your name correction. Remember to keep your first, middle and last name on the birth certificate and just add El Bay de Al or Ali to the end of it. And then you can do the SF-181 form and the SS-4, the SS-5, sorry, the ethnicity and the um, status correction there as well for the social security number, okay? Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day. Thank you to Melissa and all of you sharing with us here and all of you in the comment section making really helpful comments that we can use. And thank you to Robert Silver for sharing the Gene Keating research with us here so we can make it public for all you guys. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day.